howdy everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I created this summery pocket wall hanging all right so for our project we're going to be needing one of these signs I got this from the Dollar Tree you want to grab something that's perfectly long and rectangular like this the design it does not matter we will be covering that I'm also going to be using a small scrap of burlap and I'm also going to be using this fabric that I happen to have. I'm just going to use a small piece of it. All you need is a scrap. I chose this cheesecloth. You can use pretty much any fabric that you want to use if you choose to use that. You'll also need some flowers. Here I have some that are leftovers from other projects. You can either use uh, leftovers, buy some new ones, or just reuse what you already have. I also have an assortment of greenery that I'm going to use. I don't need very much, so just a few bits from leftover uh, projects will do. Now I'm going to be using this decorative napkin. You can use a scrap paper if you prefer. So make sure that your napkin has the uh, design all over to fit on the board that you will be using for your sign. I'm also going to be using some ribbon that I feel coordinates with my project. I also have some twine here that I will be incorporating into it also. And we'll be needing a piece of styrofoam. So you just need a small little piece. I'm gonna be painting my sign white, so I have some white craft paint. And for the napkin, I'm gonna adhere it with some Mod Podge. You can use matte or gloss. If you're not using any napkin or any scrap paper to put on your sign, then of course you won't need this. I'll be using some floral wire or you can use a chenille stem to tie up any ribbons. And for my tools, I'll be using scissors, wire cutters, a brush, a little craft knife to cut my styrofoam, and I'm going to be using hot glue to adhere my project. And here I have a little paper to protect my table for when I do my painting. All right, so now that we have all our supplies together, let's get to crafting. All right, so the first step is to paint my sign. I am going to remove the little string that it has where it's hanging from. And of course, you want, want to remove any tags. I'm not worried too much about removing it too well. As you can see, some of the tag is still on here, some of that glue. I'm not going to worry because after I paint it, I am going to put some paper over it. So that'll give it some extra coverage. And then, of course, my project will be right on top of here. So don't worry about that. So we'll just give it a nice coat just so that you don't see this brown underneath the tissue paper if you happen to use that. Of course, if you're not going to use any of that, then give it a really, really nice coat. All right, so now I'm going to take my napkin and I'm actually going to uh, pull it apart because there is two plies to this and I'll just have to do a little bit of work here to get those little corners to pull apart so that I can separate it. And there we go. So I want this sheet and of course now that I've, I have it like that it's a little bit you know see-through and that's why I want it to paint this okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer of my Mod Podge to my board I'm just going to go ahead and pour it right on my board and make sure I spread it all over all right, so now I want to put my tissue paper on there, and I actually kind of would like it to get a little bit wrinkly. That is completely up to you if you want that kind of a texture on there. So I'm just going to press it down, and if you don't like it, just pull it off and press it down so that you can get a smoother finish. Now with tissue paper, it can easily tear, and that's another thing that I don't mind. I don't mind the look of torn tissue paper and then having to you know, add patches of it. It's not gonna be a paper that's gonna to be too important because it's going to mostly get covered. I just want a little bit of the design on the edges, so whatever I get on there is fine with me. If it's a little wrinkled, that is fine with me as well. So I'm just gonna add some more of this Mod Podge on top. Make sure you get it right on the little edges because that'll get that paper wet and then you can just rip it right off the edges. And then, of course, we're going to let this dry thoroughly. Now, while it's still wet, you can pull down on the tissue paper. Just pull downward, and it'll just start to tear off. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so I'll just finish doing that, let it dry, and we'll be back for the next step. All right, so now I'm gonna take some jute so that I can make a, a little hanger here. And I'm gonna try and use the same little holes that were already there. If I can't get the jute through the little holes, because sometimes it tends to, you know, break apart and won't let you put it through. So what I'll do is I'll just glue it on top with some little knots. But let me go ahead and try it anyway. So I'm gonna go down this way, and then I'll come back up through the other side. Okay, that one worked just fine. Sometimes a little bit of a glue on the end here, a little bit of hot glue, roll it around will help. All right, let me turn it around so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I finally got it through the little hole and I needed a little bit of help with my scissors to push the end of the rope through. So now I just gotta decide how long I want this hanging off. So I'm gonna make the knot on this side first. Make uh, two or three knots just to make sure that it doesn't go back through that little hole. All right. And so then I'm gonna cut this one at a long, long piece so that I have enough for a knot. Okay, so now that I have that, then I've got these little ends and I can just trim them that and now I've got something to hang my sign with. All right so now I want to create a place here where I can add my flowers to so I need to add some styrofoam right there so I'm going to cut about so big. It's also a little wide so I'm going to take away some of the width. That'll be good. Now I don't want to put it right in the middle. I want to put it down a little bit. Give it a little bit of space on the bottom, but plenty on the top for my flowers. All right, so now I'm gonna cut a piece from my fabric that I'm gonna use in my case, it's burlap. And I'm gonna cut this bigger than what I think I'm gonna need. So just cut off a scrap. All right, so now that I have my piece like that, I'm gonna fold over a bit of it like that to give my pocket a little bit of a, you know, a little cuff, if you will. And just to keep it down, I'll add some glue. All right, so now I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna place this. Now I want my pocket to be a little taller than my styrofoam here, just like that. It's about an inch and a half. And I'm just gonna measure like that, very roughly. And then I can go ahead and start trimming it. Now, you could go ahead and glue it down and then trim it if that's easier for you. That'll be fine. We want some little raw edges anyway, so let's go ahead and try it that way. So I'm gonna put glue first down on here, on one side. I'm gonna put a nice little wide band of glue. And then I'll just press this down. All right, so now I want to do the other side. Okay, so now that I've got it like that, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the edges, just trim off like that. You can make this a lot wider than what I did, of course, if you want to cut your styrofoam a little bit bigger. This way, go right ahead. You choose what size you wanna make your pocket. All right, so now I'm gonna put some on the bottom. Coming around the little corner there. You might have to do a little pleat on your fabric, just like that. And then just trim off the excess. And I'm gonna, gonna go around it a little bit like so. And I'm kind of pulling off a little bit of the strings. You can give it a little bit of a rough edge if you want, if not, just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little scrap of the other fabric that I chose. You could use some lace, that would be really pretty, maybe a little doily or something that you wanna hang out of your pocket. I'm just gonna use this cheesecloth. This was actually a table scarf that I bought. It was really long for my table and I had lots of it and I actually created three scarves, but I have this bit left over, so that's pretty good, nice amount. And now I can take a little scrap like that, fold it any way I want, 
then I can tuck it in just like that. Let it hang any way you want or fold it up pretty if you want. I'm actually going to pull off on the some of the uh, threads there. All right, and I'll gather it up again. And I'll put some glue in there, right in the little corner, as tight as I can into the corner. This corner wasn't actually glued down, so now it is. All right, so I'm going to use my scissors to push it down in there. Glue it, and then just have it dangle out like that. It's completely up to you what you do with your little piece of fabric. Okay, so now I want to take some of the ribbon and put that on there as well. Now I have these ribbons and I don't necessarily want to make a bow, I just want some of the ribbon hanging out. So I'm just going to trim a length of it. And this is actually a wire edged ribbon. I don't want that so I'm going to trim off the edge that has the wire. I just want it to look like a scrap piece of fabric so you don't have ribbon you can actually just use some fabric. And I'm just going to kind of crunch it up a little bit, make it look a little older. Get some of those threads loose on there. Same thing with the other piece of ribbon here. This one I actually am going to create like a little bow, so I'm just getting the length for my little tail, twisting, making a loop, very small one, another loop, and then cutting the tail. And for this I'm going to use my floral wire, cut a piece off, Tie it around. I'm actually going to put this piece underneath as well. Just, you know, gather it up a little bit. Put it in there. Twist. And then I'm going to trim the edges. And that's up to you how you want to cut them. Now some nice little lacy trims or ribbons would be nice for this. Okay, so now that I've got my little bow, I can just take my wire and insert it into the styrofoam. I don't need it to be that long, so I'm going to trim some of it. And make sure you twist it really well. And then just go in there and insert it into the styrofoam. We're not pushing it all the way because we need the bow to come around the pocket here. So in order for it to stay here, I'm going to put some glue right on the edge here. I mean, you didn't even have to poke the wire, you could have just glued it on here. And then just turn your, your ribbons so they're facing the correct way. And if you have to glue them down so they don't move, you can do that. Because I don't want to, I don't want them to cover up the burlap part. So I'm just going to do that. Of course, I'll poof up the bow once all of this is dry and it's completed. So I'll go on to the next step and add my flowers. I've gone ahead and I've glued down my ribbon tails here just to make sure they're not coming over on top of this piece of fabric. So I want to make sure that shows and it's not covering over here. And then I did push in my loops in like that just to give them a look like it has more loops. And of course it makes the little bow a little bit smaller, a little more compact and it doesn't overwhelm my little tiny arrangement. Okay, so now we can see the styrofoam in there and we're gonna start putting in some greenery and some flowers. So I'm gonna take the longest piece of greenery, which is this little stem right here. I'm gonna cut off that one little piece there. Excuse my phone, I'm expecting someone, so it's letting me know of uh, sounds. Someone said they didn't like it, it was very distracting, but I'm really sorry, I really need it. Okay, so we're gonna put that right in there. This is my longest piece in the back. I'm gonna sway it over to the side, side a little bit. I don't want it completely in the middle. And then I'll take that other piece that I cut off, or that was left over from that same little stem, and I'm just gonna trim it a little bit and have it coming up from the other side. So just add all your greenery however you feel you want it to be. And I'm going to take one of the largest flowers here. I don't need the leaf from that, so I'm just going to pull that off. And I'm going to fold my flower forward. So fold the stem, not the flower, but the stem folded so that the flower is facing forward. I'm going to trim that little bit off of there. And I can go ahead and push it into my little arrangement. 
and I'll just push it in far enough to where I can have a height for my little arrangement. So that's as high as I want that to be on there. All right, and I'll continue adding some little flowers. So I'm just adding that last piece of greenery that I felt neat was needed right in here. And there we go. All right, everyone, I have completed my project. It is a summery pocket wall hanging. Of course, this could be for any other season. Just change the colors, the flowers, and the background uh, on your board, and it could be for any holiday. I think it came out really pretty. I'm very happy with it. So. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of my project. Is it something that you will do or have you done something similar to that? Please also make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. So hit that red subscribe button and then you'll see the little bell. Please go ahead and hit that and choose all so that you get notified of all of my videos once I upload them. I want to thank everyone for being very patient and very kind with me with my videos and that I didn't post one last week that was a craft but here I am this day posting one for you and I hope that you enjoyed it so also please make sure you follow me on Facebook at Trisha's Creations I want to wish everyone a super rest of your week and as always enjoy <music>